Hi everyone and welcome back to another weekly vlog. It's Sophie Hannah here. I still have not got my voice back from Amsterdam, so sorry guys, I sound like this, so I hope you can kind of hear me and understand me. But anyways, yeah, I have new hair. What do we think? The iconic Sophie Hannah blue hair is back and I am obsessed. And yes, guys, you might have already seen my Instagram, my latest YouTube video, my Sophie Hannah hair pages. If you've signed up to the newsletter, we've launched three new colors. Three new colors are coming so, so soon. You'll be able to shop them shortly. So sign up to the Sophie Hannah hair newsletter on the website and yeah, stay tuned for more information. But yeah, guys, we've got three new colors coming. They're super pigmented, they're vibrant, they're bright. They're the colours I think you guys have been waiting for and I'm very excited to have my blue hair back because I've not been this colour for so long and I'm obsessed. So if you want to see how I dyed it then the video is already up on my YouTube channel, I did a little shorts, YouTube shorts uh, for you guys to see um, or Instagram and TikTok. But yeah, these are the three new colours. I mean some of you might have already seen them but I'm going to go over them. We've got wild orange. We have a blue raspberry, which is what I have dyed my hair with. And we have got strawberry twist. So yeah, very, very excited about these new colours. Super pigmented and they are coming so, so soon. So stay tuned for more information. And let me know what you think of them and which one, which ones you're going to buy, which ones you want to try. Let me know in the comments below. Also, guys, I have another very, very exciting announcement. Um, nothing to do with Sophie and Hair. It's to do with our house, Sophie Hannah Home. Um, we've got our house in a magazine. How incredible is that? So it is in a Real Homes magazine, the latest issue, September 2022. And I'm going to show you a little sneaky peek. So, guys, we're going to page 68 and 69. A new paradise and ooh, there's me. How cool is that? So we had this shot quite a while ago now, uh, but it's finally in the magazine. Obsessed. Make sure you go purchase it, give it a read. I'd love to know your thoughts. Um, I talk about the renovation, my thoughts. There's lots of quotes in there. Uh, pricing on like how much things cost, where things are from. So yeah. Go and check it out, how freaking cool. What a nice little keepsake for us. Guys, I'm just sorting through my um, PR gifting for my new colors. So I just thought I'd show you what I put together because I've done it myself. Um, so I've done these little like insert cards. So I've done the three swatches from the new colors, the logo, and then on the back, I've popped introducing three new shades, the name of them, the bottles, and then basically just a little bit about the um, dye, obviously with the added ingredients, that it's conditioning, semi-permanent colour, um, leave your hair feeling silky soft, looking smooth, smelling great, and the colour vibrant. Um, I've popped on the price and the fact that it's coming soon, and yeah. And then I've done like a little box here, which I'm just going to write a little note to the influencer. So that's like the first thing they'll see when they open it. Then I'll move on to the dye. So obviously I've popped in one hair colour. I'm gifting people who I already know are this colour. So they can basically top up their own, the colour they've already got with um, my Sophie Hannah dye. Um, so I've given everyone one colour. And then they've got a pack of sweets. So vegan sweets. And you'll notice that all of the shade names are kind of like foodie kind of themed. Um, obviously orange, I mean it could be a fruit, couldn't it? But they're all kind of fruity. So orange... We've got the raspberry, we've got the strawberry twist, obviously blue raspberry. So I've got strawberry sweets for the strawberry twist ones. Um, and then I've done these like orangey peachy um, flavoured ones for the orange. And then I've got blue raspberry stars for the uh, blue raspberry dye. And then also in the uh, gifting box, there is a Sophie Hannah Hair Wrap and Twist Microfiber Hair Towel, which is also recently new to the website. If you haven't got one, get one. Robin and I both use them. They're incredible. And yeah, I mean, guys, get your hands on one. 
Sorry, there's a huge mess behind me, so please ignore. Um, but yeah, the microfiber hair towel is just great because obviously if you think of a normal towel, it's really, like the fabric, the cotton or whatever it's made out of is quite harsh. So if you think you are rubbing that fabric against your hair, it can cause breakage, damage, split ends. The microfiber hair towel is incredibly soft, like it is so soft. It's kind and gentle to your hair. And um, the material of the microfiber basically absor is so absorbent. So it absorbs quite a lot of the water that's in your hair, that's in your hair once you get out of the shower or the bath. Um, so I'd say it like, I leave it on whilst I do my makeup when I wash my hair and I'd say it kind of like dries my hair probably to about 60 to 70%. So then when I take my hair towel off, my hair is pretty like, it's just kind of like damp. So then I like air dry it for like five minutes and then, well, I'll either air dry it or I will spray heat protection spray, put all my like, in like, um, What's it called? Hair products in my hair. I was gonna say ingredients. Hair products in my hair, like my oils and everything, serums, uh, heat protect spray. If I'm then using heat, so then I'll just quickly, literally in such a low heat setting, blow dry my hair for like a couple of minutes. It doesn't need much. It just needs a blast just to dry that last little bit of water out your hair. But most of it's been absorbed by the microfiber hair towel. Um, easy to wash as well, and yeah, it's just really gentle and kind to your hair and. If you're putting a hair mask in or anything, you can actually use that to pop on top to keep the hair mask in place so it's not like, you know, dripping down your face or whatever. Um, if you're doing like an overnight mask or something like that, you can use the towel. It's great for that. Um, yeah, it's just, it's just got great benefits. Obviously, more deets on my website. Um, yeah, but that's kind of the PR packages that I've put together. Really cute, simple little vegan sweets to match the theme of the name of the colour of the dye and um, I'm sending them out tomorrow so hopefully influencers will have them by Friday and then yeah the influencers will have them before they go on sale um, yeah I'm very excited to see some of my friends use the colours and obviously hear hear their thoughts on them guys I had my second ever facial yesterday I know, I I don't get time to pamper myself and look after myself, kind of just wing it and do it at home, but yeah, second ever facial, and I got the Hydra facial from the Face Retreat, uh, based in Colchester in Essex, and yeah, oh, oh my god, like, it was incredible. The um, girl, Tamazin, that runs it, she kindly gifted me the treatment. Um, it's a new treatment that she started doing. And um, I'm going to insert some, like, behind-the-scenes kind of footage of me getting it done. Um, I just filmed it on my phone. Um, and what my skin looked like afterwards. And this is my skin now the next day. So I kind of just wanted to show you. Um, it was incredible. So, basically, it's called a hydrofacial, and it's like a three-step kind of treatment like facial um it, there's like this massive machine with this kind of um like sucky vacuumy like handheld thing um and basically it like sucks on your skin but at the same time it is pushing out serums and really good ingredients that benefit your skin basically so the first thing um is cleansing extracting and hydrating it does like a really really mild chemical peel like on your face um but yeah like my skin now it feels so smooth like normally my nose is quite it's always quite rough I always struggle with my nose and all the pores um but it feels really smooth it's really annoying because when i left i completely forgot but basically you can see the little pot of gunk that's come out of your face basically that the machine is like sucked out of your face um and apparently there were a lot of blackheads in there which i wasn't surprised about to be honest um probably a good build up from all the makeup and stuff that i put on my face yeah um, but anyway, this is my skin today, so I'm gonna zoom in. Also, the mess behind, just ignore it, guys. Honestly, I'm tidying up tomorrow, finally. I was meant to film content, sorry, I'm getting distracted, but I was meant to film content tomorrow, and I'm like, do you know what? I'm cancelling it, filming anything else because I need to sort out my life. It is a mess. Um, but yeah, this is my skin today. I mean, I've put a moisturiser on and my serums and my SPF, um, but my skin is just 
feels really plumped and glowy and just looks really good what do we think I'm very very pleased i feel like i might have that again you know because so i feel like the more you have it the more you'll see like on her instagram i'll link it below um she's got before and afters of people that have been having a hydrofacial for quite a while um and the results are incredible um so yeah never really have facials but i feel like i should because you know i'm getting older need to help my skin out oh my god i'm literally a sweaty mess but we are off to london today um going to a ghd event gonna have some lunch bit of a mix about go and say goodbye to one of my friends because she's moving to la and then we're coming home and going out for robin's dad's birthday <sighs> it's a lot, lot, lot it's a lot especially when it's 37 degrees today i'm literally a sweaty mess right now but we're off to london let's go this is what i'm wearing just this cute little dress little day dress from asos with my cowboy boots um yeah let's go heading into london on the train oh my god i literally cannot believe how hot it is today it's crazy so first stop we went for lunch we found this place in soho called Inconito. it's kind of like a japanese sushi place oh my god the food was so good obviously it had sashimi it's like one of my favorite things and then we had these like um beef truffle like wrap things oh my god they were so good so good and then a few little sides guys if you're ever in london go here it's actually really nice then i headed to the ghd event hairtopia house and yeah basically ghd was celebrating all of their heated styling tools so they had them all on display they had loads of different like photos set up some really cool stuff um and then i had a styling appointment so i actually got my hair curled like a beachy wave um by one of their hairstylists and yeah oh my god like literally obsessed she did my hair so nice and that's the thing like it's really hard doing the back of your hair but she did the back of my hair so nice and the finish result super super cute obsessed and it's actually really nice someone else doing my hair for once i have to say look how cute it is then we popped selfages and oh my god these care bear trousers i need them heart puffer trousers like i want them now then i saw this really cute skirt well skort actually from sporty rich which they know my size but i feel like i want to check them out online oh my god it's so hot in the uk it is crazy I'm literally like melting but guys, I am going to France tomorrow for a wedding. So yeah, so basically, uh, mine and Robin's um, close friends are getting married. Uh, Robin is one of the groomsmen, which is very exciting. And yeah, they're getting married in this amazing chateau in France. Had a little sneaky peek on Instagram. It literally looks incredible. I'm very, very excited. Uh, I haven't had a wedding. Have you had a wedding in a while? No, I feel like I haven't had a wedding in a while. So. Um, be nice to go to a wedding actually and bless them they've cancelled it twice already because of covid so yeah finally going ahead um i'm very excited so i need to pack i'm just going to show you a few of the bits that i'm taking and then obviously in next week's vlog you guys will yeah see the wedding week so we're there from monday to thursday um yeah the weather oh, i think it's gonna rain which i'm so gutted for them uh, but I feel like it's going to be amazing anyway, regardless of the weather. So yeah, very excited to see what they've got planned for us. Uh, but yeah, here's a few of the things that I'm going to take with me. Excuse my carpet, definitely have not hoovered. Um, I'm going to take this um, swim set, little bikini and then skirt and a little headscarf. Absolutely love this. It's from Subtropic. Literally worn it so many times. It's just, it's just frigging cute. I just love the print. Uh, so I'm going to take that because apparently we're having a bit of a pool party one of the days. Also going to take this dress from Club L London, um, potentially for tomorrow night, actually. I love the print. Everything is pretty much, well, apart from my swimsuit, is like green and blue themed to match my hair, of course. Uh, but yeah, really love this. It's like a little strappy kind of dress thing, mesh sleeves, just for whatever we do tomorrow night. Thought, little cute outfit. Then another outfit to literally match my hair so well is um, this one from Meshki. It's like a top um, and maxi skirt combo. It's really cute. Those the, blah, 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 I can't talk with these little like diamante strap things. Really cute. Really nice fabric. I just love stuff like this. Like this is my vibe. Very chic. Yes. Um, 
So yeah, from Meshki, love this. They're having like a paella party and want us to dress colourful. So Ov's going to be wearing this. Then for the wedding day, I'm going to be wearing this little dress. Just obsessed with it. It's got a little belt. Let's go around the centre. It's got like a frill on the neck. It's got puff um, sleeves. And I just love this like kind of like marbly print in this like yellow, limey green and blue just obsessed like i just love this dress and it looks so cute on it's a little skater kind of rah rah -y dress then just got these sandals from asos that i'm going to take because they're low heel really comfy and yeah they look cute with that dress as well um to be fair cute with all of my outfits then i thought bag handbag wise my by far greeny like limey green kind of bag would look really cute so i'm gonna take that also matches this dress really well but i'm probably gonna need another handbag for the blue but yeah gonna pack now um need to pack my makeup and stuff i'm gonna try and pack light i just want to take hand luggage because the airports are crazy at the moment obviously it's a summer holiday so yeah just go straight through security it would be a dream to be honest and we've got fast track for that so yeah um yeah i'm gonna love you and leave you guys um stay tuned for the wedding vlog next week but thanks so much for watching guys um, also, actually, before I go, I just wanted to mention that I washed my hair. Washed my hair once. And as you can see, it's still so vibrant. It's hardly... I mean, to be fair, it looks exactly the same. And, um, yeah, I worked so hard on my formula because I didn't want the colour to, like, wash out the vibrancy to wash out on after one wash. Um, so, yeah, the hydrolyzed quinoa in the formula of Sophie Hannah Hair Hair Dye is locking in that colour and preserving it. And, yeah still very very vibrant and pigmented for the wedding next week although i do need to wash it again tonight but um we've tested in the testing stages of these colors they take a while to fade so yeah they stay very very pigmented for quite a while so good news guys anyways we love you leave you take care stay safe and i'll see you guys in another vlog very soon Mwah. peace out